Listen, when you read the word, go back to the word because it's going to solidify what you just spoke. The church is trying to correct the world when the church's job is to correct the church. Well, listen to me. I was here New Year's Eve and my husband, we're praying, everyone's, we're, we're all believing for revival. Right. And I'm like, oh, thanks a lot, Laura. I got to be the bearer of bad news again. You know, I felt <laughs> like Brother Dave. You know, he said, if I could just say something positive. As I <laughs> sat there, the Lord spoke. And it's okay. We're crying out for revival and renewal and the glory to fall. And the Lord speaks and says, for revival, the loss coming in, the, the harvest, the, the harvest. harvest. Yeah. Right, harvest. Because there's billions. They're, they're coming in. God has a harvest. The Lord speaks to me here. He says, stop praying for the harvest to come in. I'm not going to bring them in in the condition the church is in because they'll just backslide and they'll become like what's here. Mm. And I said, oh, God, that's what you're doing. You are going in and the breaking of the curse is setting the, those free that have that sat in churches without any power and any hope. Mm -hmm. And you've come under a curse of hopelessness and fear because you haven't heard the truth. Yeah. And the truth is we are in an hour where God is delivering like he used Moses to deliver the children of Israel from Egypt. Amen. Mm -hmm. And God's looking for people who will say like Moses, yes, Lord, let my people go. I will do what you tell me, no matter what it looks like, mm -hmm. I'm going to be obedient. And for those people, God is going to reward. And I'll tell you what, what you just said exactly right, Mondo, we have, God reversed what Pharaoh wanted to do. Pharaoh wanted to keep him in bondage and God is reversing fear, hopelessness, and everything that we're this being burdened on of you that sit there today. Wow. He's doing it right now. He's delivering. He's saying, I'm still with you. If you will call out to me, if you will call out to me and cry out to me, I will answer and I will deliver you. Yeah. That's what he has. And I'm excited. He is reversing and releasing those who have been spoon-fed a gospel of ease and apathy and compromise that has robbed them of power. Religion without a relationship. Wow. Yeah.